Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually just doing a video all by myself. I wanted to film my makeup routine because a lot of you guys saw my last video and I know that you guys really liked my makeup so I decided I would film a tutorial because I actually have found the routine for me. I finally mastered what I need to do to make this face look good. So the one thing that I was doing wrong the whole time was adding way too much makeup to my face and because of that I looked super caked, I couldn't find a perfect routine and then I watched a YouTube tutorial on this girl who did her makeup, her name is Addison Rae, if you don't know she's a TikToker and she is so beautiful so I kind of got inspired by her look and started doing her makeup routine a little bit different with a little extra things but I did add on to it and I loved her tutorial, it was super light, something I'm not used to because I always feel like oh my god I look ugly, I need a cake on my face, but no, I've learned putting less makeup looks so much better than putting like a whole like <sighs> y'all I really want to listen to my music right now but I know I have to focus on you guys I'm gonna make an actual good tutorial just a little quick showing you guys what I do with my face how I put on makeup these are just my tricks and tips for you guys so hopefully you like this if you enjoy give this a thumbs up make sure to follow me on Instagram and if you're a new follower make sure to subscribe I film videos with my boyfriend and I'm about to start doing some single videos so yeah I hope you guys enjoy just me and if you love Matt and you don't love me then you can click off this video and not watch because you only care about me and Matt but it's okay my first step always is to pin back my hair I always like to start with my hair because I feel like that is the base of everything if your hair doesn't look good then you don't look good and that's that I could have like so much makeup on but have a bad hairstyle and still just like hate the look because of that if they do get uncurled I'll like go back and recurl them but I just want a fresh face to start with and I always start with a moisturizer just to make sure I have like a good base something for my makeup to stick to and yeah let's just jump into this so the first thing I'm gonna go in is with this Derm Vitality Intense Hydration Serum just to make my face nice and supple nice and moisturized and just get a good base going so this makeup could stick to it I've been stuck in quarantine just trying to perfect my makeup I've literally been doing my makeup every day even though I'm in quarantine, I mean, I don't know if it's you guys or just me, but I feel like I always get ready extra when I have nothing to do. Like, I could just sit here and practice my makeup, so it's kind of cool. This little eye cream that I have, I'll try to have everything linked down below, but I'm a lazy bitch, so might not happen. It's going to help with my under eye concealer to stick extra long for the day, so... So with the first two products I just showed, I do have a ton of extras of these. So we are going to be having a giveaway really soon. I just have to kind of get all the products, test them out, just to make sure they're good for you guys. And then we're going to have a little giveaway. I've loved these face products though, and I have like so many of these hydration creams and so many of these eye balms. So definitely make sure you guys are subscribed so that you can have a chance to win these. So my first step to makeup is my brows because... <laughs> I need my face to be shaped up. This is like such an important step. I have good brows, but I've been filling them in a little bit more just because they're a little messy. And when they're messy, I feel like I have to do the most to them. My favorite palette at the moment is the James Charles palette. Of course, there's just so many options. It's a really good versatile palette just to get started with makeup. Of course, it has a lot of options and I go in with these colors right here i do this one for the end and then i do this one for like the inner part so let's jump in. i'm gonna do one brow and then finish the other one off camera so i went in with the lighter color already just because uh sometimes i don't need the darker color but if i want to add like a little extra hairs i'll add the darker color because it looks more realistic i always start with the outline so i kind of drew a little more up so it's gonna be you know, I'll go in with the dark color to fill in that part because if there is no hair, I like to add the darker so you can't really tell. Like one key thing to brows is shaping them, which is concealer, fixing them up. If you don't do that in your makeup routine, like, you're not doing your brows right. Mostly, the concealing should fix any problem that you've encountered, but just in case, still try and keep it nice and clean. I'm not going to do the concealer until after I finish the other brow, but that's her right now. She's kind of... Kind of messy. Play with the hairs, adding your own little 
thing. So my brows are finished. Now I just need to clean them up. So I've been using this Born This Way concealer. I actually got this at TJ Maxx, so it was only like eight bucks, but this is not one of my favorite concealers. It's just one I'm using right now because I'm kind of broke and I don't really have money to go buy a new one. But um, if I was to recommend a concealer for you, it would be the Shape Tape by Tarte. It is so good. I have like the large version and a mini version. I've just ran out since, but those are the ones I would be using. Because it looks yucky. So I just use this concealer. I line it. Make sure it looks clean. I'm setting it with this right now, so I haven't actually blended it yet. Put the line. Okay. Just like that. Leave it. You can start with the top or the bottom. If you go quicker, you can kind of just like whoosh. Because if I go like blah, 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 it kind of doesn't make a good line. Blendy, blendy, blendy. So I use the first brush just to kind of set it in place, and then I just blend around that because I kind of really love how the bright looks, so I don't want to take too much away from it, and I kind of just need a good brush to just blend with. The next step is to go into my beauty blender, and my favorite foundation at the moment, which is the Born This Way, which I learned from James Charles. He's been using this, and I was like, I have to try it. I love getting tips from other beauty gurus, what they use, what products they like, and of course, I really love the Tarte Shape Tape, Born This Way foundation, and I like to have like an actual good, kind of expensive base, for my face, yes, it's pricey, but a really good dupe, I would say, would be the Maybelline Infallible Foundation, if you don't have that much money. My summer color, which you guys yelled at me about, and you told me, oh yeah, your foundation doesn't match. Like, it matches in the summer, but I guess I shouldn't have tried it. I saw everyone was using it on TikTok, so I was like, oh my god, I'm going to put it on. And then when I looked in the video, it didn't match at all, but... But isn't this foundation good? Like, it looks natural, it looks pretty, it's such a really natural on my skin. So my next step is my nose contour. This is like such a fun part for me and I feel like I've mastered it pretty well. So I'm really excited to show you. So I go in with the Fenty Beauty um, contour. You can really use any contour. I just like this because it's darker and it's really going to accentuate my nose. I start up here, then I bring it straight down, straight down like that. So for the end, I go like this, down here, completely cut that shit off because my nose droops a little so I try to just contour like this. So if your nose droops, do this or you can put it like this. Let's cut off the nose from the bottom if you have a droopy nose like me. And then bring it up into your brows but I also just kind of want to cut it off. I know a lot of people stop doing that, but I like it. It helps so much with my nose. Take my beauty blender and just blend the nose a little bit better. And I've switched up. I stopped using my Fenty because I felt like it was way too like intense. So I'm just going in with just a bronzer, not even contour anymore. Just this bronzer that's wet and wild, nice and cheap for y'all. See? Ow. There goes my headphones. So I just blend up like this. That's one side of my face. I felt putting less product makes it look so much more like intense and beautiful. I don't know if you're filming for like, like YouTube or just like regular pictures for IG, but I found this, this makeup look I'm doing right now looks the best for like selfies and just like kind of everyday life. Just kind of blend, 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 blend. So the next step is my concealer going back in with the Too Faced because I'm poor. <clears throat> the places I highlight under my eye, of course because she did. I don't want to look like a zombie. I found this is such an important part, important part of my makeup routine just because it really highlights everything. Um, if I don't do this part, I look like a sunken in zombie. Oopsie, I kind of did a little too much. Put it on that little tippy. Yep, and then a little bit on the sides because it's going to drag up anyways. And then a light here, but in case I got a mustache and a little bit right there. I don't add to here because my forehead's already huge. So what have you guys been doing during quarantine? Because I need, I need some fun shit to do during quarantine because I'm literally so bored. Look at me. I'm filming YouTube videos. That's how you know I'm bored. I'm just kidding. Um, 
I just really wanted to film YouTube videos. I to do then talk to a camera and become seventh grade me again. So that's what I'm doing. Um, but anyway, some things I've been doing during quarantine is I've been watching Netflix. Of course, I started this one show, Locky and Key. It's so good. If you're into like shows with magic and shit, you'll like that show. Like, first of all, let me tell you, this is how I explained it to my friends. So there's like, there's like a key in the house that can make you invisible. There's a key that can make you that you fly. Like, there's all these keys that are in this house, and these kids basically live there because their dad died and they needed a new house to move in with their mom. And they moved into the house that their dad was like, no, don't move in there. Like, that has a bad past because basically the dad used to use the keys as a kid and it's just so insane and I just I love shows with like magic supernatural stuff like that so it's a really good show you guys should check it out if you're bored during quarantine I'm sims recently I've been watching uh Carmen King I don't know if you guys know her but she's a sims YouTube player and she is so funny like she's my alter ego for life like Oh my god, I just started watching her and it inspired me to start playing Sims again, so I downloaded Sims Get Famous. Oh my gosh, I was literally, I was a YouTuber in the game. I don't know if you guys know that, but you could become a YouTuber in the Sims Get Famous. You can become a social media influencer. So I basically started my YouTube career and like, you have to film a video, you get to edit it, and then when I was editing the video, I was like, I should actually go edit my own videos. Like, I need to stop being lazy and go edit real videos, not my Sims videos. So, so once I have that all blended out, I go in with this palette here, <laughs> wipe away any of the brown that came over, and then use my beauty blender to just set everything. I kind of noticed in my last video you could actually see the color, like you could see yellow under my eyes. Um, nobody really said anything like rude about it, but to me, I had noticed it. So this might not be the best powder, but I honestly really like it. I, I really like it for like everyday use and stuff like that, but kind of in the camera it looked really yellow, so I don't know if I left on left it on for too long. I'm gonna wipe it off a little bit earlier than I normally do. And then I just use the rest of the product to shape in my myself. And I always pat up here because I get so oily throughout the day. I don't even care that it's like a super yellowy color I'm just like patting that in to get that and then of course make sure you shape up your nose because that's so important with this Becca I think yeah Becca afterglow palette that I've really gotten pan on but I use this more of a kind of a rosy type of blush and just go like this and then down like this just putting it everywhere like not I mean like everywhere but like not at the same time the face is coming along so then i'm gonna go in with my setting spray just to kind of get all of this powdered look off of my face not that it really goes away but once it sits in your face you know when you first do your makeup it does not look good like whenever i show my boyfriend i'm like you need to wait for it to like oxidize sit in my face because it's not cute Highlight is my next step. We're almost done with the face guys so yay highlight i've kind of changed up my routine and I thought about it. So I know James Charles made a makeup tutorial where he used his palette to do his entire face. So I was like, there's probably so many products on here that I could use to do my face. And I realized this is a super bright color right here. And I've been using that for my highlight. Oh my God, it is so bright and beautiful. Better effect, kind of spray brush. This is what I use for highlight. I want you guys to see how crazy this is. This is right where I'm going to highlight, so I sprayed extra. My boyfriend literally always tells me that my highlight isn't blended, so I literally set it on and I don't blend it. Because, damn. And then a little bit up here. I'm going to quickly wipe off my lips because they have a lot of concealer and product on them. Time to add some mascara before I put on these lashes. Recently, I've been going in with a white lash adhesive. that I got from the dollar store literally two bucks and I use this to just blend everything this is what I do on a daily basis I'm gonna take down my little curlies now 
Might need to be recurled. Uh, that one doesn't look too bad. Let's see. Let's see the other one. It's really not that bad. They're kind of more relaxed. I like it. Well, here is my finished makeup look. My everyday look that I do a lot. Like you'll see it on TikTok. You'll see it on my YouTube videos. So this is it, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry if this was a little long or I don't explain well, but again, I'm not a professional makeup artist, so don't take anything that I do too seriously. This is just my routine. But I love you guys so much. Make sure you give this video a like and a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.